are the warning symptoms and signs that people should be aware of? Uh, basically, uh, this heart failure preserved ejection fraction is more common in patients who have other uh, diseases like uh, blood pressure, mm. diabetes. As age advances, it becomes more common. Right. Uh, people with heart uh, irregularities, irregular beatings, they mm. have more common beat. And also patients uh, who are obese and physically inactive. These are some of the major contributors to this type of heart failure. So people uh, who have some of the background diseases and who find it difficult to move, uh, as I said, if you're finding it uh, difficult to carry on with activities which you used to do comfortably a year back or two years back, don't say that it is because of my age. Try to find out what is happening to you. Mm. And mm. definitely that will uh, go a long way in helping you out. Right. So one of the things that we've found when we've spoken to people is, you know, especially women, right, are so used to having things like varicose veins, pain in the legs or um, swollen feet, etc., that they completely ignore um, some of these signs. Uh, do you see that as well in, uh, you know, in your practice? Uh, absolutely. So when you have a breathlessness, uh, a problem to breathe when you're doing a particular work and you begin to develop some swelling on your legs, uh, you gain weight suddenly uh, and you start to have some cough when you're lying down and you're uncomfortable in the night lying down or you get up in the middle of the night coughing. These are some of the symptoms of heart failure and do not ignore these symptoms. And this swelling, uh, swelling of the legs can be due to multiple causes. It can be due to anemia, it can be due to uh, kidney failure, it can be due to uh, prolonged sitting or standing, or it can be due to some drugs. But when you have this uh, swelling of leg, along with the breathing difficulty, it uh, is more likely to be heart failure. So better to approach uh, the doctor and find out what exactly is the cause of the swelling of legs rather than taking it for granted. It's because you're sitting for a long time and uh, it may be just part of uh, normal aging. Mm. It's always uh, better to uh, seek help and advice.